morning, class. Today is a very special day. Can anybody guess what we're doing? Are we all in trouble? Why are our family members here? I know, I know. It's career day. That's right, Ella. Today we're going to learn all about some very rewarding careers. Yay! Up first, why don't we have Melody's sister, Megan? She's going to tell us all about her career as a hairstylist. Welcome, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hey, sis, and hey, everyone. I've been a hairstylist for about two and a half years now. I just love helping people look and feel their best. Your hair is so pretty. Thank you. I just put in these pink highlights yesterday. Do people really pay you to put colors in their hair? I can do it for free with my markers. Tommy, be polite. I put marker in my hair once and it got all over my clothes. Exactly. Markers can not only damage your clothes, but they can damage your hair and your skin. Is it hard being a hairstylist? It can be at times, but it is so rewarding to see somebody leave with a big smile on their face. Thank you so much, Megan. Does anybody have any questions? Did you happen to bring your scissors and some dye with you? I see some kids in here that could use a styling boost. I'm looking at you, pigtails. Hey! Tommy, that is so rude. Do you want to go to timeout? <sighs> Sorry, puppy. Nice, nice puppy. No, no, Miss Gina, I do not want to go to timeout. I happen to love pigtails, and I think you girls look super cute. Don't listen to any mean boys. Now I have to get back to the salon, but this has been fun. Thank you for having me. Bye, guys. Bye, sis. And now let's hear from Quinn's mom, Katie, who is a veterinarian. Hello everyone, I am a veterinarian, which means I am trained to give medical care and treatment to animals. What made you want to be a veterinarian? I've always loved animals and wanted to help them. And today, I've brought one of my patients with me. This is Lexi. Oh no, what happened to her paw? <laughs> Poor Lexi had something very heavy fall on her paw and break it. So we took x-rays, gave her some medication for the pain, and put her paw in a cast. She should be completely healed in a few weeks. Aww, poor Lexi. It's very rewarding to help animals in need. That's amazing. Does anybody have any questions? Do you perform surgeries on animals? Yes, I sure do. What do you recommend for dogs with bad breath? <laughs> it's always a good idea to brush your dog's teeth to keep his mouth nice and clean. And if your dog's breath is very bad, it's probably a good idea to see a veterinarian. That's great advice. Thank you so much for being here, Katie. Bye, Mommy. Bye, honey. I'll see you at home later. <laughs> now why don't we hear from Tommy and Isabel's grandfather, Gary. Hi, kids. I've been a Malibu firefighter for 40 years. My team and I help save lives, houses, and pets. Wow. wow. That's so cool, man. I know, right? Show them your gear, Grandpa. All right, well, when there's a fire, we put on all this heavy-duty gear to help protect our bodies, including these gloves. Next, I'll put on my oxygen mask. The tank is located on my back. That's so awesome. It's like a movie. And then I put on my hat, and I always carry with me my flashlight, my walkie-talkie, and a fire extinguisher. Amazing. Thank you, Gary. Do you have any safety tips for the kids? Absolutely. Install smoke alarms. Make sure your family has an escape plan in case there's a fire. Make sure you're very careful when you cook. And always remember, matches and lighters are not toys. Does anybody have any questions? Can we go spray the hose on the fire truck? Sorry, Tommy, not today. Uh-huh. Can we test out the fire extinguisher? No, absolutely not. Thank you so much for being here, Gary. My pleasure, Miss Gina. Stay safe out there, kids. Now let's hear from David's mom, Tiffany. Hello class, my name is Tiffany and I am an Olympic gymnast. What? Hey, you never told me your mom was in the Olympics. Well, you never asked. I've been doing gymnastics since I was a little girl. I went to the Olympics and now I'm a gymnastics teacher. Is that one of your medals and a trophy? Yes, I'm wearing one of my medals today. And I brought a trophy to show you. If you have a passion and work really hard, it will pay off. Show off your moves, Mom! Well, if it's okay with Miss Gina, I can bring in my balance beam. That would be wonderful.
unbelievable. Thank you so much. Does anybody have any questions? How do I join your gymnastics class? I'll leave some cards with my information for anybody that's interested. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Enjoy the rest of career day. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for coming. Now let's hear from Abigail's father, Officer Dave. Hello there, kids. My name is Officer Dave, and this is my canine, Blaze. <sighs> I've been an officer of the law for 15 years, and together, my dog Blaze and I arrest approximately 40 perpetrators per day. 40 people per day? How is that even possible? As police officers, we are here to serve and protect, and we are only one phone call away when you need us. My daddy's a hero. We've been called heroes many, 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 many times, but we are only doing our job. Do you let kids do ride-alongs? No, way too dangerous. What if I bring my hockey gear to protect me? The answer is still no, son. <sighs> does, does Blaze bite? Yes, yes he does. He is not friendly. Being a police officer is very dangerous, but it's also very rewarding. I love helping people and keeping the streets clean. Well, thank you so much, Officer Dave. It was lovely to have you here. Thank you, Miss Gina. And remember, kids, if you have an emergency or are in danger, call 911. Come on, Blaze, let's go. Bye, Blaze. And now let's hear from Lila's dad, who is a doctor. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Ryan, and I am a pediatrician. That means I primarily work with children. How long does it take to become a doctor? Good question. It typically takes about 11 to 15 years. Whoa, that's a long time. That's crazy, man. I know it takes a long time, but it really is a great career. It's very rewarding, and I love working with kids. Do you work in a doctor's office or a hospital? I work mostly out of a doctor's office, but sometimes I do get called to the hospital. Do you give out lollipops? Yes, absolutely. Every doctor's appointment should end with a lollipop. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Ryan, for being here. Bye, Daddy! I'll see you at home, Lila. Bye, guys! Well, I hope you all learned a lot today. Did anybody here find a career that they think they'd be interested in? I want to be a hairstylist! Me too! I love animals, so I want to be a vet like my mommy. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a police canine. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and go to our channel to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye!